What's in the box? Welcome to Matt's Profit Pursuit. Today we got a little bit of a different video. I got a Stacy reseller box from Flip the World. That's right, Chris and Stacy. Obviously, Stacy did all the work. Uh, Chris is just the the face, just the beauty of the operation. Stacy is the brains. But got this reseller box uh, from them off whatnot. All in sixty five dollars and twenty cents. Let's do a little bit of an unboxing. So no two boxes are going to be alike. Um, I'm excited to see what's in it. That card is actually cool. I actually like clown things. This is 1982 hen something or other card. That's pretty cool. This says, thank you for the purchase. Hope you love the box. I hope so too. Oh, I'm returning it. So it's all shoved in a large uh, priority box. I'll put comps up on the screen as I'm doing this. Oh, okay, that's that's cool. I already, already saw something cool that I'm probably gonna keep. Uh, let's see. I believe these are straight from the bins. I don't think anything's washed. This is what is it? Something. This is a pair of Citizens of Humanity jeans. Uh, the cape. 066 low waist full leg stretch. I don't think I've ever found a pair of these at the bin. Comps on jeans can be tough because it depends on wash and distressing and size. On the high end, they're around $30, so I listed mine for $20. Cool. Something cool pair. These are sick. Little little baby Jordans. I forgot what model this is. The highest comp I seen was $35, but more realistically, they were around $20. So I listed mine for $23, and they already sold, and I took an offer of $20 plus shipping. Some new vans. Oh, I wonder if this was from their their shoe supplier. So these are new vans, they're new out of box slip on vans. What size are these? Men's eight. Oh man, I wish they were my size. I need a pair of slip on vans, I don't have any, but new out of box slip on van. Here's a few comps of that style of vans new. Looking at mine closer, they are actually used. They've probably been worn once or twice. So I have my listed for $23 plus shipping, but no interest yet. Wrangler Western shirt. That's a cool pattern. Wrangler Western shirt. It's a cool, like Aztec pattern with the pearl snaps. Here's some comps of similar shirts, not the exact same pattern. I have mine drafted right now. It's not listed yet. It will be listed in the next day or two. I'm going to list it high around $40 plus shipping and accept offers. Oh, they put some oh, fabric softener things in there. Or scent things in there. Cool. New with tags. Chico's. Sweatshirt. Oh. Is that brand really worth that much? This retails for $119. How was I thinking? That? I gotta look into this brand. I was thinking this is just a mall brand that's not worth a whole lot. I may have just learned a new brand. I see that all the time. I couldn't find that exact same sweatshirt sold, but here's a listing at $45. So I listed mine about the same. No interest yet. I'll probably have to lower the price. I'll be happy if I get $20 out of it. Anyways.
a Disney tie. It looks like it's vintage, made in Korea. That's funny, I just went on a kick of listing uh, a bunch of ties that I had. Here's the same tie listed. I haven't listed mine yet. I have it in my death pile waiting till I find a few more ties to lot them up. A permit. Oh, I just saw something cool in there. Okay, uh, a bed sheet, I believe. A little bit stained up. Nineteen eighty, made in USA. Um, Muppets bed sheet. It's not an all-over print; it's just at the bottom. But it's still pretty cool. Here's a comp of the same design on a fitted sheet. So I listed mine a bit higher with offers on, and I have one watcher already. Okay, what size is this shirt? Alright, this is my size as well. Modern print, easy E, ruthless shirt. And here's a similar sold comp. The XL, so I might keep that. Eric Clapton. Was this the tape that he thought someone stole from him? It wasn't the tape he said that was new sealed that he thought someone stole. No new ones have sold, but here's a few listings. Cool. Pittsburgh Steelers. Nike. Uh, that's probably youth, youth large. This has a sold comp around $15 plus shipping. Nike hoodie. Two thousand two Salt Lake Winter Games. New with tags. Here's a sold comp. They had it listed for 36 and took an offer. I don't know what that is, but I'd be happy with $15 or more. A pair of fire resistant Carhartt pants. They are size 36, 34, which is pretty close to my size. So this, this, this tag here, um, this is from a uniform company. I should be able to get at least $15 plus shipping for these. Awesome. So I tried to be realistic with the comps. Um, I didn't take just the highest one. Um, but I will list them on the higher end and, and take the offers and see what I can do from there. But I should get somewhere around $258 worth of sales. Take away $52, which is 20% for eBay fees. That leaves me with $206. Then minus the cost of goods, which was $65.20. And that leaves me with $140.80. Take away 25% for taxes, which is $35.20. And then I'm left with $105.60. Invest 20% back to the business, which is $21. And that should put $84.60 in my pocket. So that's a true 3.1 times my money after all the fees and everything are taken out. So I just want to try this out. Uh, one, to support Chris and Stacy. Um, I like their channel. I like what they're doing. They seem like good people. And just to see what kind of treasures I can get, <laughs> get in this. Um, for me, this isn't a way I would source. Normally, I have access to... Uh, I'm right in the middle of two bins. You know, drive 25, 30 minutes each way. Like, or, and I can get to a bin. Uh, so that's where I do all my sourcing at. But if you don't have that nearby, if you're not able to go out, if you physically can't can't leave your house, if you're having issues or something, 
Um, I would definitely buy from them and try to find some other, you know, trustworthy people that you can buy from online and, and flip items. And aside from their these these mystery boxes, they have daily or five days a week, whatever they do, whatnot sales, and they are selling everything cheap. I see all the time things that are posted that this plush that they sold for two dollars, you can get fifty, hundred dollars for it things like that they're just running everything through whatnot they do not care about getting top dollar so follow them on whatnot and let them know i sent you if you go to one of their shows i don't get anything for it i just want them to see comments and say hey matt sent me and they're like who the hell is that i'm like which matt there's like seven matt resellers that have youtube channels let me know in the comments below if you thought this was a good deal if i uh, if you think my numbers are wrong uh, let me know catch you on the next one god bless Peace. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat>